Hi, today I'm reviewing the Tarte Love and Trust eyeshadow palette. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money so you know you can trust. My opinion is what I honestly believe. So I know that's not the full name of the eyeshadow palette. However, I've had a video demonetized using that word. So I'm just going to call it the Love and Trust eyeshadow palette. So I trust you guys know the rest of the name. So anyway, so I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts on this based on my Sarah score scale. And my first criteria is packaging, and uh, this palette comes in a fun package. It is bulky, but the one thing tip I want to give you guys is if you travel a lot and you find this to be a little bulky, the pans are removable, so you could take the uh, pans out and put them in a different palette or a Z palette or a travel palette, uh, so you don't have to travel this whole thing because it is a little bulky, uh, but just keep that in mind if you wanted to uh, transport them or depot them it's possible to do that so otherwise it's uh, nicely packaged beautiful fun packaging my second criteria is alcohol and this does not contain any denatured alcohol my third criteria is fragrance and uh, this does have a scent to it it has uh, vanillin and then vanilla uh, planifolia fruit extract and for the most part, everything I've read on those two ingredients say that uh, they're not skin irritants. And vanilla actually uh, is generally safe and sometimes has antioxidant properties. However, I've read other things that say some people are sensitive to vanilla. And so um, overall, it does have a little bit of that vanilla scent to it. It's almost like a cake batter scent. A lot of lipsticks have it. Uh, so I didn't dock them for that scent because... Overall, it seems like the general consensus is that it's okay. So, um, and I've never had any issues with vanilla, and so um, that's always a, okay. My fourth criteria is the manufacturing location, and this one is made in the U.S., so no issues there. Uh, my fifth criteria is ease of use and very easy to use. And what I really like is the fact that they've included uh, some dark shades, a couple darker ones that you could use for a powder eyeliner. They've also included a couple light ones that you can use on the brow bone area, which is very nice. And then they've got a, everything in between, uh, nice shimmers and some good matte colors. So um, they've done a pretty nice job. And I really like, I can appreciate palettes where they have something light enough to use on the brow bone and dark enough and as a powder eyeliner. So there's so many palettes that don't include all of that. So it's nice to see it. Um, and uh, also what I really like is the fact that I didn't have any issues with any fallout of this at all. So, and I'm going to give you guys some swatches of these to help make your decision in purchasing this. So I'll just start with the lightest color first. And you can tell it's pretty pigmented. Um, number six is uh, pigmentation and these are all pretty pigmented. Uh, they're pretty blendable, buildable as well, which is always nice, and really not a lot of fallout, especially with the glitter ones. I was impressed how little fallout there was with them. Uh, you can definitely make a nice variety of looks with it, and they're all pretty buttery smooth. So, um, And I'm wearing the palette right now in my eyes, so if that helps you at all. Um, I think I'm wearing five different shades on my eyes. And then here's the darkest one, which is Wonder, which I'm using that color as a powder eyeliner right now. Um, Whimsical. I'm using this in my crease, which is nice. If you find a good brush to do it with, uh, that makes all the difference when you're using a color for the crease area. Um, that is Giggle. And then this is kind of a goldish, bronzish color. This is Magic, which is a very beautiful shade as well and mystical which is a almost like a berry color uh, this one's pretty buildable it's not the most pigmented of them all but it is pretty buildable and uh, wish is another dark color which you could use for powder eyeliner and then uh, the color in the center you can use on the corner of your eyes or even brow bone area um, it's pretty uh, shimmery so almost like a silverish color so there's the swatches of it uh, very beautiful nice palette a little bit of everything in between so um yeah so on to number seven which is animal testing and tart is cruelty free which we love number eight is performance and i want to say i wore this yesterday i was out for about 14 hours yesterday 
and uh, it, it was still in place at the end of the day. I did use an eyeshadow primer. I used an Ulta primer, uh, so it did a good job holding up. Um, didn't really crease or um, get too oily or anything like that, so it lasted all day, which is nice. There's so many eyeshadows that you put on at the beginning of the day, and by the end of the day, they're just gone. They're, you can't even tell you had anything on, so uh, this one isn't like that. It performs very nicely. Um, price, uh, so this palette, uh, the original price is $39. That's assuming you don't get it on sale, but always watch out for sales or promos because uh, you can sometimes get something a little bit cheaper. So, and I thought that was nice, a, a decent price for a cruelty free, more prestige brand. Um, so, I didn't think that was too expensive. And the fact that it's got so many different looks you can create with it, I, I didn't think that was ridiculous. Um, and then on to number 10, which is the It Factor. And I gave it the thumb up for that too. I just like the fact that you can create so many different looks. It's got a nice variety of light to dark shades, buttery smooth, very buildable, very blendable, and uh, easy to look. And and if you were traveling and didn't want to depot it, I mean, this would be the only palette you'd have to bring with you, and you could have so many different looks with it. So um, I really like it. I'm pretty happy with it. I was debating getting it once I saw it in the store. I thought I had to have it. So um, anyway, this did pretty good. It got a 10 out of 10. So um, worth checking out if you need another palette, and even if you don't need another palette, you still need one. The right amount of palettes are one more than what you have right now. So, anyway, uh, anyway, so I'm interested if you guys have tried this, and, uh, if you have what your thoughts were. So, uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come with at least one new review every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net and the Amazon link below. Thank you so much, guys.